What's up LEGO fans, this is Tom from True North Bricks and we recently caught up with Ethan and Dom for the second time after the events of Episode 8 of Season 3 of LEGO Masters. So our first question for them was what has the fan response been like to their time on the show? Oh, people on Reddit hate our guts. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But <laughs> like none of this hate and backlash and negativity that we do not deserve at all in my opinion affects our actual social medias like i haven't seen like negative stuff on tiktok instagram or youtube which are the only social media places that matter to me um but my friend just texted me something on, about reddit i want to read this it's bad <laughs> <laughs> that's not the kind of comment i was expecting anywho <laughs> um, <laughs> um <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, you have but, to look uh, at it through a lens. You have to of, look at it. I mean, know, yeah. <laughs> Ethan and I are used to it because we already make content. So there are we we've dealt with haters before. I've been I've been I've received threats. I it's nothing. It's water under the bridge. It doesn't really affect me. My mom, our moms, on the other hand, they did not take it lightly. Um, so you can probably like find our moms commenting and arguing people in comments of Facebook posts. So that's hilarious. Um, but yeah, it, it definitely wasn't like what we wanted to be depicted as, but it's it's a show. It is it, what it is. It teaches you as a person to only like focus on yourself and not really, I mean, stick with what you do and what you believe in and don't worry about what other people think about you. Thanks. And it really, it really teaches you that, which is, I guess so. that is a, a positive aspect with that. Uh, but it hasn't, I mean, it, it's affected a little bit through the comments, but usually the negative comments are people not even following me. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, is like random strangers mm -hmm, in someone's mm -hmm. basement. Like, who cares? For my second question, I asked Ethan and Dom, what was the hardest thing about being on Lego Masters? Putting up with Will Arnett's shit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, in all honesty, I think the, um, we love Will. He was hilarious. Uh, the biggest, I think it was just really just time management and just, I think that's something we definitely missed out on the, um, three first challenges. And, and all honesty, I'll say, it, I mean, having that week of not doing challenges, I would give up instantly to go back to see to episode one and get into the competition right, right away. That wasn't an option for us, unfortunately, but, uh, it definitely, I, in my opinion, I definitely feel like we would have done better had we had that first, those first three challenges to like learn off of and get that experience i i yeah i i agree with that you know that imagination is kind of a uh, a mixture of your last you know previous weeks and kind of using everything that i've seen and we were kind of inside of a hotel room and it kind of it doesn't leave much room for imagination and your mental state mm -hmm. um but um it is what it is we uh used our place and i believe me and dom used the best of the situation that we were placed in yeah um but the when our first challenge we felt behind really the whole time with not knowing the brick pit we just felt i remember we just felt behind the whole time uh when three episodes to, back kind of behind mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah that was i mean not not like much we just felt three episodes behind yeah uh, <laughs> but i think those challenges would have helped and i believe and you know it's definitely the one that's like i believe the first two would have been fine the bull one would have been you know I'm, I'm from texas so i was like I, it would have been awesome to have a bull riding challenge and say, yeah. <laughs> um, but that one would have been fun as well. And seeing the, like, that one would have been so cool. Um, I did build uh, from the first episode of the show. I built a spaceship that was basically, if I did that challenge, I feel like me and Dom would have done a camera spaceship and you can grab it right here. That's where it would have attached to the ship, uh, which I was really happy with how that, I feel like we would, would have gone that content route. Um, but I mean, overall, I think, we did the best in our situation. Finally, I asked the duo, what is their advice for people who are just getting into the Lego hobby? Uh, for financial reasons, don't. <laughs> uh, no, but no, uh, I say uh, start small. Start small and work your way up. It can be very overbearing with all these huge mocks and creations. Uh, if you're getting into mock building, just start small, start with just a couple of bricks my biggest advice is like just take it like a creator three in one set um build three models and then try to create a completely new new model out of that set just using those parts that's something i did a few times while like prepping for uh lego masters is i'd get a creator three in one set 
build three models, take them all apart, and then try to build something completely new just using those pieces. Um, and uh, yeah, and also make sure you have a space for your Lego building and Lego collection because uh, it takes up quite a bit. So for me, if you have a passion and if you have a, um, if, you, if you work hard and you have a passion, you can accomplish a lot. Like whether it's art, whether it's music, whether it's Lego building. Um, and that is like, if you have a passion and you work hard, you can accomplish a lot with that. And that's really my advice. It, like it's short and simple, just work hard and have a passion for it. And, you know, look at what other people build, you know, take their, their, what works with them, kind of take their, uh, uh, their style and kind of bring it and twist it to be your own, you know, find your own style, look at other builds through social media uh, and find, you know, find what you want um, and work hard for it.